Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Annie, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. And our opinion, of course, Welcome Bob. Welcome back, Brad. Welcome back. I know all the little, the younger women out there probably preferred Michael. You Let's get to the talk. show. Let's all get right. to the video. Today Bob. we're going to talk about mm -hmm. chondromalacia or patellofemoral syndrome. Now, chondromalacia, these are big words. Yep. Um, do we have a kneecap, Brad? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll just take one off the phone apart there. Yeah. Chondromalacia, what that means, here's your, your kneecap. That means that the under the kneecap, the part that you can't see, actually has softened up or been kind of scruffed up a little bit. Right. I heard one guy call it like crab meat. So that it's, you know, it's actually the texture of crab meat. Is it because you eat it, Bob? Yeah, well, no. I, <laughs> but anyway, the thing is, you cannot diagnose chondromalacia unless you actually have a scope and look in there. You're just assuming there might be chondromalacia. So you're point. talking a surgeon, and you just don't yeah. take a scope, like right. you know, a telescope exactly. from the ear rifle. That right? It'd be a scope, arthroscopic surgery. So it's amazing to me, Bob, because if you look at this bone, is it, this is actually about the a size, kneecap. a size of a kneecap. Yeah, for it, some people, yep. mine's a lot bigger. Right. It actually well, is. I do have a big telescope. But for a smaller person, that would be it. Yeah. So, anyways. But anyway, so if it, it unless you've really had arthroscopic uh, surgery done. It really is patellofemoral syndrome, and that's a big word too, but that just means patella means kneecap, femoral means the, the big bone up here and how it rubs along there. Right. So, Brad, do you want to show how, why, why we run into problems with uh, patellofemoral syndrome? Sure. So, so, basically, we got knee pain, you know, is what we can really make it simple. And here we got our, our femur and our condyles and the patella right here. So, when you bend your knee, the patella fits right in this groove. Can you can you see that, Lonnie? She's gonna flip it now. This so groove is right there. Okay. Now, as you bend your knee, the patella slides down into that groove deeper and deeper. So when it's down here, it's deep in the groove. And then when you straighten the knee, it slides back up, and it should line up right in the groove, and it should be all in alignment. It's a real mechanical relationship between the two. Um, Bob, here, could you sure. be the pointer? What happens typically with the kneecap is it will misalign and go to the outside this way. I'm going to exaggerate it, and you can see where the pin is pointing. Yeah, but it's too far over towards me. So the pressure all gets put onto one point here. That high, that ridge. Yep, and you can just imagine when you put that pressure is taken off from the large surface area to one small point, it's going to take that that uh, the hyaline uh, yeah, the cartilage yeah. right off. Wow, yeah. and that's going to be painful. So we need to get this kneecap back over in here where it belongs, and there's a few different ways you can do this, and the, the, the worst way would be surgery. It's called a lateral release. We're not going to get into right. that. Uh, we're going to do some more conservative methods because we are fair therapists, and that's what we do. So let's first talk about what you're going to often feel. When you, when you have uh, patellofemoral syndrome, <laughs> You're, you're actually going to usually have pain right on the front of the knee. A lot of times it's around the kneecap. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to hurt a lot of times when you bend the knee and when you straighten the knee. Yep. You're going to hear uh, the crunching noises. Rice, like Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies <laughs> or crepitus as we call it. it. Happens a lot more in women than men. It's because of the angle of their, their knee. And anything else? Yeah, going up and down stairs. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And going downstairs typically hurts a lot more than going up. Usually. Right, exactly. So, this is a simple test, and what's nice about this test, if it works, it actually leads you right to the simple treatment of what you can do. Yep. So, all right, this is a, a test that Brad and I, which we talked about this morning, we actually both do, we didn't realize it, but what you're going to do is you're going to take the knee that's giving you trouble, and you're going to need some tape. You're going to need some good athletic tape or... One brand is called uh, Leucosport. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we, we just ordered some stuff off. You almost put your hand on my tape right I'm sorry, Bob. Now, if you, if you really want to do it right, you get an underlying tape first, but mm -hmm. I, you really don't need to for right. this. I mean, right. you're just doing the test, so you can just actually take the heavy stuff and put right on there. Um, so I don't think I'm going to use that, Brad. Nah, don't worry about it, so, Bob. Let's just take a quick look at this knee. Can you relax, Bob? Now, can you see this, Lonnie? Look at that. Uh, he's got, he does have a big patella. Look, yeah. at, look at that thing move back and forth. It's 
in the groove, out of the groove, in the groove, out of the groove, yeah. and go up and down. And typically, it's going to go out of the groove this way, so we got to pull it this way, right. huh? Exactly. Perfect, Brad. So that, yeah, normally it's too far over toward the outside of the leg. Yeah. And so what you're going to do is you're going to just take the, the yeah. tape. And pull it that way. And pull it that way. Where's the kneecap? Give me the kneecap right. again, Brad. There we go. So what you're going to do, here's, here's the kneecap. I'm going to put tape on the edge of the kneecap like that and pull it over. That makes sense, Brad? Yeah, but you're not going to really put on the kneecap. You can put on the skin over the top of right. the kneecap. But I'm putting it right on the side of the kneecap. Mm -hmm. And then usually what I do is I push over like this, and you can see this. You want to flip that screen once, Bonnie? I want to see if you can see how that's... Yeah, you can see it, can't you, Brad? I can see it. Yeah. All right, so I'm pushing it over. I'm going to push it over, and then I'm going to just pull it down like that. You're going to get some wrinkles in the skin from that. Yeah. That means you got uh, enough force. Now, pressure. quite often what I'll do is maybe take another piece of tape right over the top and do it again. Mm -hmm. So you have a double double whammy yeah. here. So Clean the skin well and make sure you use some yeah. alcohol wipe or something. If you, uh, if you need to shave the leg, shave it the night before. Because if you shave it right before, you're going to irritate the skin. And yeah. then it's going to be so. Um, and again, you're not going to have it on that long right now. You're just putting it over to see if this works. See if it feels better. So, so what tells you if it works? This is how I tell you it works. Before you do this, I want you to go up and down stairs and see if you feel pain. If it doesn't, if, I mean, if it does hurt, that's one of the signs that it might be patellofemoral syndrome and it might be chondromalacia. So now you with the tape in place, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go up some stairs. I didn't want to bring the stool all the way down. I'm going to at least step on it. So you're going to go up a couple steps and maybe down like this. And you want to see if the pain is less. It right. may not be gone, but I would say in most cases, it's greatly improved. Right. Right? That's in the cases where I, I've had luck with this. Right. What I do with my patients, I say go up and down the stairs and give me a, a pain number of what it hurts the most. And they'll say it's at a 7. When I come down, when I bend my knee, it hurts at a 7. Put the tape on, go up and down. Usually they'll say, oh, it's about at a 1 or a 2. Exactly. So, if this works, what you're going to now want to do is watch our next video on how, the simple treatment for chondromalacia or patellofemoral syndrome. And we're going to go over the taping because there's a few more specifics you need to know. And we're going to show you a few stretches and strengthening. You better believe it. Right. And, and remember, it's very important. We can fix, help you fix anything in your whole body except, Bob. Oh! A broken heart. Yes. Except for we could tape on that a little bit. Here goes my phone. Tape on there. Hold it. Thanks, Lonnie. That hurts.